The reason why we decided to invest in skills is because we noticed in 2009 that there was an ageing workforce within the business and that we had a skills gap within engineering and material science. So the managing director decided to invest into a formal apprenticeship programme to make sure that we were protecting the skills within the business and so that we could grow our own timber. The biggest achievement that we've received from that investment has been a really successful apprenticeship programme. And because of this, in 2012, we opened a £1 million training academy and an engineering workshop. The academy supports the learning and development of our apprentices, our trainees, graduates and all of our employees, which is something really important to the business. The investment that Superior has made into the business from a skills point of view is something really unique and special. We've got our own academy, an engineering workshop which is dedicated in upskilling our own employees. Having our own MVQ assessor is something that is really, really beneficial and something so we can keep control of what skills are being taught to our employees. In 2012, the company invested £5,000 into the training and development of its employees. Each year, we've invested more and more, resulting in a £50,000 investment in 2017. One of our biggest achievements um, from investing in this way is the reduction of our average workforce age. So in 2009, the average was 46, and we've managed to reduce this down to 37 in 2017. And as part of that, we're really pleased that 10% of our employees are apprentices. One of the unforeseen benefits that we've received from investing in skills is becoming an employer of choice within our local area. We recruit all of our employees on a permanent basis and all of the recruitment is done in-house to ensure that we can get the right skills and also the best people. As a mentor at Superior, I have the privileged opportunity to work with young apprentices. I help them with their education, skills and guidance throughout their career. I feel very proud, um, it's a fantastic opportunity to pass on my skills, um, things that I've learnt as an apprentice when I was younger and it's, um, it's a great opportunity to be a mentor to young people. Once the apprentices go on their placements through March after being here for a few months, they come into my department and do a rotation through various skills within the area and then they make a decision as, as to whether they want to go further with that opportunity. I then um, go through a training programme with them and show them the skills and um, some of the guidance how to interact with people on the shop floor um, and then they can uh, go forward then into their professional life. Callum Shaw, 26 year old, joined the company five years ago as an engineering apprentice. He had the skills and knowledge to start a project with robotics, something he was very passionate about. He went to the owner with the project plan who backed it and built the first robot in 2016. Um, this has been um, supported with an £80,000 investment and we now have eight robots throughout the company. This has increased our cycle time, reduced our rejects and, and, and increased um, the lead time to the customer. James Rowe came to the company in 2012 uh, as an apprentice. He, on his March rotation, showed a flare in sales and decided that was an area he wanted to uh, move into. He joined the sales team full time and through his uh, mentorship he now um, has brought in an account worth £274,000 and looks after a £1.2 million worth of accounts. Since joining Superior six years ago I've seen the investment that the owner has made in young people and apprentices. This is unusual for this size company and to see these young people having the opportunity to forge out professional careers has been uh, a very rewarding.